Virgos, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. This is going to be a short, quick weekend love message here for you. Um, so take it as it resonates. Just remember, some of the messages may or may not resonate. And if you want to get a personal reading, you know there's a link in the description box below. All right, Virgo, looks like a magical weekend happening here for you, for sure. Okay, um, interesting. I feel like you're going to be very spontaneous over this weekend or there's a spontaneous energy to make something happen over this weekend two of wands in the reverse um this is kind of like uh, yeah it feels like a very spontaneous energy it, it feels mostly like um things are gonna fall apart like plans plans are gonna fall apart and then it's it's gonna be like okay let's just do whatever that's kind of what i feel like this message is like uh plan a doesn't work so you come up with plan b but it's like a spontaneous thought and you just kind of run with it over this weekend you and another person or other people that you're connecting with so yeah it's i kind of feel like the message here is like don't get stuck on the outcome for anything over this weekend take things as it comes because they may not go the way you want but you will get clarity and you will kind of be like you know what that's fine and automatically think of a way to handle this situation other than what you had initially um, expected, okay? Or if you made plans to do something um, or were hoping to do something over the weekend and something, either you're hoping for some kind of outcome for it to happen and it doesn't go the way that you hope, I feel like there's, uh, there's still a way, it's just gonna be unconventional and not what's expected. Okay, so that's a very general message. Let me take a look at love. Okay, some of you are definitely connecting with a soulmate over the weekend. That's for sure. Um, somewhere where there's maybe a restaurant, someone serving drinks. Yeah, possibly getting asked out to go on a date or go have a drink with someone. Definitely. I'm picking up bartender energy. So restaurant, somebody mixing drinks, um, going somewhere. Um, let me see. Uh, some of you could be going on a date with like a chemist or someone who um, works in the hospitality food service industry as well. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, that's interesting. Uh, I feel like somebody's, the, this person, it could be a Sagittarius asking you out, okay, over this weekend. Could also be um, a Gemini, could be a Pisces. Um, this this is new love this page of cups so there's definitely an offer coming in this person taking a lot of courage um, little liquid courage is gonna <laughs> there's liquid courage that's what I'm trying to say somebody's gonna maybe take a couple shots or have a couple drinks and really try to like you want to mix up our juices together later <laughs> something something along those lines okay I, I, I feel like I, I just get this weird vibe that if somebody's asking you out or wants to connect with you, um, they don't have the courage to do it um, straight, straight. <laughs> so, they don't have the courage to do it straight. That's what that's what I'm hearing. Um, yeah, okay. That's a strange message. Okay. Uh, or something's going to get said. For some reason, it's an apology. You're getting a drunk text apology or something. I mean, I know, like, I know you guys are, like, way older, like, who deals with this kind of stuff? I don't know. And it doesn't have to be, like, very childish. It's just somebody has a couple of drinks, maybe they apologize or they say something. All right, you have the six of wands. So there's definitely an energy. Oh, my goodness. Somebody's seeing a situation from a totally different point of view, and I feel like they are um, going to be showing up over this weekend, like, yeah, look at me, you know, take a couple drinks, like, I'm going to ask out, like, they want to, I feel like they want to be in a victory position, like, in the one-up position here, but there's also this, like, uh, humbleness about this person as well, and Pisces is showing up here again. All right, Virgo, I don't know. Uh, this is just the messages coming through. What else is coming through over the weekend? Okay. So you have the pen Five of Pentacles. Some of you are jacked up from a snowstorm over this weekend. Or you will be. Okay. You're not going to be driving your car anywhere. I'll tell you what. There's definitely going to be like putting your snow boots on, going outside, walking through the snow. It's cold. Um, trying to find a soup kitchen. I don't know what's going on, but you are 
definitely either going to help people or you're trying to get to church. I don't know what's I don't know what it is, but it, I just see like a heavy weather event. And you know what, you guys, that's not really predictive because that's a given. It we know that that's happening in certain places of the world. But for you listening, wherever you are. Okay, I feel like heavy, heavy weather. And that's not all across the board. That's just for some places. So there are some areas. Um, there's an area that I feel like, especially for the Virgos, where you may be. And if it resonates, it resonates. Remember, I'm just shooting my shot here. Whoever catches the ball, that's great. That's for you. Um, I know some of you are like down in New Zealand. You got no snow. Some of you are, I don't know, somewhere in the tropics. You got no snow there. But some of you have snow in weird places and some of you are getting a he like heavy amounts. So be careful. I feel if this is you, um, if you're out there walking around in this weather. Okay. Yeah. Some of, some of you need to stay inside. Uh, and rest. Stay home. Don't go to work. If you're a worker over the weekend, when there's a heavy snow event, don't go to work. Stay home. Okay. Very, very, uh, very strong message there also. Okay. You've got the lovers. What's going on here? Oh, I'm supposed to blur this out, you guys. So just so you know, real quick, the lovers showed up here, but I can't show it because YouTube is demonetizing my channel whenever I show this card because they're nude in it. So just keep that in the back of your mind that the lovers just showed up and you've got the hermit. So some of you over the weekend are avo avoiding um, a twin flame. Okay, you're not trying or you're thinking about heavily a twin flame. It, it could be both avoiding them, but thinking heavily about this person. It could be a Gemini, um, but it shows up to me as someone who is a twin flame heavily on your mind this weekend. Uh, let me see. You're self-reflecting about that relationship. Some of you are self-reflecting about whether you should close the book on that relationship or if you should have walked away. Oh, here's another card I have to like keep. Sorry, you guys. Lovers and any of the nudes can't be on here. Um, so we've got the lovers in the world. There is this contemplation energy of whether or not we whether or not either we both should have ended the relationship or you could be thinking about that or both of you thinking about it or it has ended and you're both thinking about each other. And it, it is mostly two people, you you and your twin, thinking about each other over this weekend. Yeah, there's definite, definitely an element of sadness, loss, grief, missing each other. Okay, over the weekend. All right. Or one of you is missing the other. Trying to remain strong. Um, is this your person? Definitely missing you, thinking about you. Oh, these are my grandsons crying. Hold on. You could have a kid with a Leo. Uh, missing you or thinking about you right now. Let me see what other messages are coming up for you over the weekend as well. What else does Virgo need to know for the weekend? Okay. All right. So, uh, hmm. if you're working on something, building something, or even thinking about crafting or creating something, I feel like this weekend is a good time to get down into that, um, take some downtime or whatever you need to do to work on something here. Yeah, I feel like uh, what you're building, what you're creating, even if you're just doing a little work from home, definitely take some time off as well to do that. And also, um, oh, there's, uh, they're saying take a risk with a friend communicate with a friend from your past um, or accept communication from a friend, childhood friend or someone from the past that maybe has moved away or you haven't seen in quite some time. Um, yeah, there's definitely a communicative like a conversation or somebody could be coming in to see you or visit you or reconnecting with you. This could for some of you is someone that may have ghosted in the past or was always like, oh, stranger, where have you been? That kind of energy is playing up and playing out for some of you. It's a water sign could be connecting with you as well from a distance. They've been waiting to hear from you and then they reach out. Yeah, there's definitely communication coming in um, from them, and they may be waiting for you to respond back to them. Okay, yeah. Um, I don't know if you'll respond to anybody over this weekend. Honestly, Virgo, it looks like you're just kind of taking the temporary time out. Um, 
to do like some stuff for yourself it looks yeah it kind of looks like you're not you're not talking to anybody you're not accepting any love offers even though they're coming in over the weekend it looks like you might not be it's either from a bunch of different people or one particular person um i feel like you're kind of in this weekend energy where like it's my time this weekend or i'm going to the casino or i'm doing i'm traveling or i'm doing something on my own um provided you're not in a real snowy area some of you might be attending a funeral as well and it's not a good time to answer a text or a phone call okay um let me see what other messages yeah, you might be kind of like, should I do something or should I not? Because there's a lot of information, communication coming into you, like one after the other. Someone's trying to talk to you. I feel like you might be like pacing yourself with responding because it's not a right time to talk to someone over this weekend, okay? Or you might be juggling <laughs> um, several different conversations at once and you're trying to keep track, okay, of who you're talking to. Okay, yeah, you definitely are. Three of Cups. Yeah, you're, you're definitely going to have maybe some suitors or other people that you're talking to over this weekend and you're trying to like manage your responses so that you don't call another person a different name. I mean, okay, Virgo, do your thing. Hey. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I'm going to leave those readings there. I know they're really quick, but I upload it in 4K and it's taking forever to upload them. So hopefully you'll get these in time. And I will be back here on Sunday to do your... Uh, singles reading. All right, you guys. Love you. Have a great weekend.